dear viewers again back to school of civil engineering and in a previous lecture i have just shown that how we'll create i mean how we'll design our beam how we'll create uh, it's in detailing and elevation section also and also how we'll create bar bending schedule bbs for our beam so um in this lecture i'm just uh, going to show you uh, the last part of beam design that how to how we'll create b o q okay bill of quantity so i'm just uh, going to create that and that was our previous lecture data so if you want to show you can uh, see from here right so say here um, we have used data okay for our from our previous work we have just uh, taken that right so that was the previous data now what we'll do actually we'll create bill of quantity so how we create bill of quantity it's very easy in a state or cdc and it will uh, give you some extra facility to create that okay and so for that what we'll do actually i'll just uh, come here report okay i'll just create a report then a uh, bill of quantity i'll just come here to get bill of quantity so i'll just click here bill of quantity okay from here here uh, suppose i'm using concrete c uh, 23 okay and here it's telling us the rate okay here i, I have considered here dollar uh, dollar sign but i will provide that in uh, taka in my country case i'll provide that in taka okay so uh, i'll just uh, edit that data when i will create that okay so uh, it's done now i will just calculate that that uh, what is the uh, here actually c uh, 30 means what will be the cost of that concrete okay what will be the cost of that concrete okay so um i'll just go for it so if you see here i have a uh, file here for uh, estimating i uh, already have shared uh, with you about that file uh, in our playlist of um, building estimating playlist so you can uh, find out that from our channel and also in here uh, i mean if you need that excel sheet actually so there is a automatic excel sheet that will give you total cost or anything so uh, now what are our concrete actually 1 is to 2. Point, sorry 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 that was the that was the value of my concrete now what will do actually i had to just um, calculate what was the on uh, one cubic meter i mean uh, i have to convert that on cubic meter concrete to cft okay i mean on uh, cubic to cft so how i will create that so you know that that is uh, 3.28 to the power 3 so it is simple 35.28 35.28 so uh, 35.28 cft okay okay or 29 cft like that no it's not fact so here what is the now uh, how much um, i mean which types of property now we require actually so for one cubic meter work i mean be required so here we are seeing that we required 7.7 bag of cement then for one cubic meter clear and uh, we need a uh, sand here the required A stone or koa in my country or aggregate. Okay, it's done. Now I have to just put here the price. What will be the price of uh, one bag cement in my country case? And I will provide that value in taka. So four 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 hundred and forty taka uh, per bag cement. Then a price of one CFT sand. I am just considering the one CFT sand will be ten uh, taka or uh, ten or fifteen taka. Actually, here they have dollar sign, but please do not consider the dollar sign. And uh, price of one CFT koa, or I'm just considering it's eighty five. Okay, I'm just considering that eighty five. Then price of one C is still I will just not consider that. So what is the value actually? Six zero five nine. I mean, approximately six thousand taka as per my country case. So I'll just close that. I'll close that, and I'll just close that. So here I'll just give where actually 
so here i'll give 6000 okay uh, 6000 taka for on, on on cubic meter concrete work okay i mean make concrete materials and uh, also the grade for that type of grade is still in my country what the value per kg the per kg is 70 2 taka almost or 70 taka we can consider so 70 taka and shattering i will not calculate for shattering because uh, in my country actually um, at that time no need shattering data okay so you cannot rate be zero or negative rate cannot be zero okay uh, so what i can do that i can okay i'm just ignoring that so here here i need three types of uh, data from here and uh, is the plan area what is the area of your plan so i'll not provide that data because this data is not required at this time okay so i'll just click okay sorry maybe i have to provide your data so i'm just clicking one uh, and after that i'll just ignore that yes um, so uh, it will create creating barbarian serial data so just see here so it's have created it's have created so for a barbending schedule what with the total cost i will consider that value okay the 110 i'll just con uh, i mean i'll not consider that value so what will be the cost almost on luck 91000 taka for our that beam gusting we required right so uh, here our total uh, concrete for our uh, if i just show you for our that wall beam so here seeing this is for our all beam here okay so it is an output and bar bending schedule data and also we have provided for our uh, i mean for our reinforcement here is our reinforcement value and you are seeing that this is the data for our reinforcement 10 12 and 16 and here the quantity for different different quantity okay and also here is the total quantity of our reinforcement so uh, here is the total uh, Taka required for our bar bending, I mean for our reverse, and this is the total uh, Taka required that is um, for our uh, actually that is required for our concrete, and this is the total cost. And also, you can see that in different way for different different beam, so here that is available for different different beam, okay. And also, if you want to see that for level wise, so here also this, this data is as per here the diameter wise which types of diameter for which beam how much we required okay here the total weight just see and here is the uh, the total shattering uh, how much shattering we required a square meter so here uh, it's given here actually in this way we can uh, create our work perfectly i hope so so uh, by using that powerful tool you are also able and after creating then simply click here to save that file and anywhere you can save that file and this is html file after and this is you have to just save work in beam okay b of quantity then i'm just saving and after that i'll close that i'll just go here for cdc then for beam and here the bill of quantity just i'll open just see this this file have um, opened in google just what we'll do i will just uh, convert that in pdf file okay otherwise you can directly uh, print from here without any problem so uh that was the data for our work okay and also what you can do that actually what i do and here i have that excel sheet uh, in previously i have just shown you about that excel sheet i have just deleted that by using that excel sheet i will just take that volume from here and the reinforcement data from here and i will create bar bending schedule for different types of work so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video and in our next video i will show that how we'll design our B in columns then how we'll create bar bending schedule for it and uh, randomly we'll try to compare for a foundation and also for um, after foundation we'll try to uh, compare with our slab so thank you, thank you very much, stay connected till next video.
and also subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first.